Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So it's kind of difficult to imagine that you could add to the absurdity that is California and California gun control. They already have more laws on the books than any other state in the entire country. So how could they possibly imagine anything new? Well, they have. And something just recently passed that's going to blow your mind. You can now get red flagged, red flagged, for simply owning body armor. Let's talk about what just passed and what effects it's going to have. Now, real quick, if you want to support this channel and you're watching, you haven't yet subscribed, hit that little subscribe button. It's free. It only takes a second, but it helps me out quite a bit. And hit that little alarm bell. That'll let you know when new videos come out and you can stay up to date on what they are trying to do to your rights. Okay, so let's go and talk about what's going on here. So we're talking about AB301, which was just sent up to the governor's desk to be signed. Now, at the time of the making of this video, he hasn't signed it yet, but he has until October the 14th to do so. Now, just based on his track record, based on his history and what he's been asking the legislature for, there's a 99.99999% chance that he is going to sign this and it's going to become law. So what does AB301 do? Well, it amends the current red flag laws in the state of California to now include body armor. So if somebody wants to file one of these, uh, what they call in California, GVRO or gun violence restraining order against you, and they see that you purchase, own, or, or possess at the time they see you body armor, they can actually now use that against you to get that red flag or GVRO. Well, how can they do that? Well, let me go ahead and read you just a little bit from the bill so you'll see exactly what they're saying that body armor now falls into. So again, it adds and amends this to the existing red flag laws in California that are already just, I mean, completely overblown. You're seeing massive numbers of these confiscations in California now, and uh, it's just getting more and more out of control. So again, let me just read you this uh, quick paragraph here. So it says here, in determining whether grounds for a GVRO exist, the court may consider any other evidence of an increased risk for violence, including but not limited to evidence of any of the following. And if we scroll down to the bottom, it says uh, evidence of acquisition of body armor as defined in section 16288. And for the purposes of this subdivision, recent means within the last six months prior to the date the petition was filed. Now, the reason they say within the past six months is because California's red flag laws have become so out of control now that you have up to six months to file one. I mean, that is a significant amount of time. A lot can happen in six months. So let's say that I have an interaction with somebody, right? And that person didn't like that interaction. Five months down the road, that person sees me loading up my truck and I happen to be throwing like a level three vest or something in there, right? That person, even though it's five months later, can still go and file that GVRO and just state that they saw me with this armor and that's all of the evidence that they will need. Because you see in that paragraph, it says any of the following. It doesn't have to be all of the following. I don't have to own firearms at all, okay? Just the armor, that's enough. That's all that they need in order to file a GVRO against you. And again, in California, so many people can do it. Uh, the, the list just keeps expanding and now they have six months to do so and now they're adding, you know, this as, as an example of what can get you GVRO'd. And that's not all that California is doing with armor this year. As a matter of fact, there's another bill sitting on the governor's desk that affects armor as well. So it was a big legislative focus this year. But another thing that they've done is they've said that if you're prohibited from owning firearms, then you should also be prohibited from armor. And so now they've added that to the prohibited list, meaning that if you're somebody who previously owned this, right, you were prohibited from the other thing, but not prohibited from this. Well, now they're going to go ahead and take away what you have in terms of armor, because as a prohibited person, you can't own either. And so that was, I believe, AB92. So we have AB301, AB92, and everything's going after armor now. So again, just, I mean, they want to make sure that they have everything covered. Just about everything now can be used as evidence against you, uh, even though you have no idea what the hell is going on. So I, I wanted to make you guys aware of that. If you're interested in seeing what this thing's all about, I'll, I'll leave the bill text down below. You guys can check it out for yourself if you think that that could potentially be an issue. Uh, definitely read through it. There's a lot going on there, but you know, sometimes it's worth it to read these lengthy and absolutely ridiculous bills. So again, I'll leave that down below. I just want to let you guys know about that. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.